All right, brought the recording back up. I'm probably going to drop that. The so, what's going to happen? And this will be mostly seamless for people who are watching the um, archive, not the archive stream. Oh, hey, didn't know you could zoom in. Um, is as we're watching the uh, let's play, come back in. Is I we just had the conclusion of the romance scene with PB. Um, stuff you that happened in between there now was me accepting a bunch of quests and processing some a little bit of research and item selections and that sort of thing. But now, actually, now I can use the zoom button and look at our my pet. Oh, hey, we got the little things of the pet food down there. Whatever they are, canned food. Hello, Sarah. I have uh -huh. been contemplating our discoveries about the Akara at the Remnant City. I know who created me, and I know my purpose. I have also experienced not knowing. The difference is immense. You're heading into some deep waters there, Sam. Whole lifetimes are spent asking about creation, its meaning, if it has one, and if there was a motivating force. Are you asking if there's a god? AI have concrete answers about why they exist. If I did not, I would look for them. Oh, that's... Yep. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. That's actually a, a really good thought. So presumably if I go chat up with chat to um chat with uh PB, probably do the scene again, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Anyway, the reason I cut around the romance scene the, 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 the sex scene, it was a sex scene, is because in short Um there was actual nudity there. And it's like, okay, I could either edit this, um, or I could just cut around it. And I decided to just not show it. Okay, so other thing you may I may you may or may not have missed is created a new weapon. Uh created a kit Carnaphon level six or seven. Into the Stormbringer because those things steal health from your enemies when you hit them, or they regenerate health for you when you hit them. Uh, currently, your scope is a level 6 scope. Level 7, let's install that. Level 6 receiver. I've got a 7 receiver. That's the barrel mod. So let's see, let's put in the new magazine mod. Actually, we've got a heavy magazine installed. A regular Global 6 magazine lowers my clip size but ups the weight. Level 4, 6 barrel. My barrel, the long barrel, which drops the clip size. I think I'll leave it as is. Shotgun. Let's drop the heavy melee. Mm. 
And install a spare clip. Barrel and... Level 6 scope. Do we have a level to better... No better scope, so we're good. Time to continue with the story. That can wait. Pathfinder. Just the pair of hundred percent in all them see. weapons? That's a good question. Meridian. Set on a path its creators, disrupted by the scourge, now lost. An unmanned ship is at the mercy of ocean currents. Now, a second. think of Meridian as the ship and the Scourge as the ocean. If we can somehow predict the currents and track them, we could figure out where the ocean's taken the ship. Excellent. That's genius. The Scourge is the sea, moving objects around. It's not a precise analogy, of course, but it illustrates the point. Yep. Dr. Anwar's suggestion may indeed be our best chance of finding Yeah, probably Meridian. the passive stuff. The more we know about the Scourge, the better we can predict how it affects the things it comes in contact with. We'll need better data. Probes for the Scourge and Garen star charts. The initiative made charts of Helios from the Milky Way 600 years ago. That actually that is. Baseline. I can compare that to Helios at present. It'll give us numbers, but one set won't be enough. Sam, what exactly do we need right now? Readings from within the Scourge itself. Collected by probes planted at key points. Once enough data is collected, we'll need initiative resources for mining and analysis. Once that is done, I can build a predictive model that will recalculate Meridian's path. That works. Oh, we have a We have a plan. <laughs> yep. Now let's, let's make move with the work. purpose. Everyone's counting on us. Let's bring them home. Okay. Let's chat with Kala real quick, kind of apologize. Ryder, might I borrow your research room access? What for? There's a small something I need to take care of. I might need your help, if you could. I'll help if I can. Suvi, could you take the helm for a little while? Oh, yeah, I'll be cleaning things up with, uh... I mostly need your authorization to add to the database. Is that our drive core? The full blueprint. Only a few are in the system. I had them all by memory. So I drew them out. Every line. All the specs. Gil will be needing them. I won't. You're still not comfortable with Gil being in charge of your Tempest, are you? Call it more memories. Of the time that they were going to scrap the whole project. Ah. Some engineering consultant kept insisting the ship would never fly right. He used a lot of Gil's arguments. I think that's why this hurts. The others died thinking we won, that their legacy was safe, and I failed them. You showed us the Tempest through your eyes, why she matters. Even Gil sees it now. We forget all our technology didn't just appear. Someone invented it. Someone cared. And in the end, someone new always takes up the banner and pushes forward. I am... Um, I need... The tech officers sign off on these schematics. Any thoughts on how to do this? A little honesty and humility will go a long way. Gil, may I get a moment of your time? Awkward. I thought we settled this. What's going on? I saved the Tempest schematics for you. It'll be easier with them on hand. Seeing her drawn out down to the basics, she's kind of beautiful. Oh, right. You never saw. Yeah, look at the arc here. That's artistry. And there. Fences mended.
now that we got that out of the way, let's get to work. Alright, yeah. Oh, for the, the respec stuff. Um, yeah, basically I just picked up all four slots. Because I like having... I like having a good selection of guns for the, paint, the full golf bag, for depending on the circumstances. That was kind of awkward, but it was fun. Anomaly on sensors. What we got? Deploying probe. This is one of the chosen data collection nav points. We should. I just did. Well, yeah, it was a little awkward, but it was, it was a good settlement for the settling for the, all the baggage that they had over the full course of the game. Um, it wraps up the plot arc nicely. The data collection probe is prepped whenever you're ready, Ryder. Okay. Yeah, so I like having sniper, sniper rifle for distance. Um, the shotgun is really good up close for the wraiths. Pistol is general good for more precise close range accuracy stuff, and then assault rifle just gives you nice big batches of DACA. Alright, we got three more. Systems to scan. Well, four more new systems actually. So let's. Let's, let's save the rest of the system scanning for after the Let's Play and just go with that. I'm like just short of the amount of, um, of, uh, Not many split other ships would venture out this far. regeneration it's our job to be first. negative and positive regeneration. Yeah. This is a, this is a great detected. game. I've been, I mean... I've been doing this Let's Play all year since the game first came out, and I wouldn't be doing it for this long if I didn't if I didn't like it. Intense scourge activity is common in this area. Might be worth planting a probe. Data collection probe ready for placement. All right, and th anomaly on sensors. Oh wait, one more anomaly on sensors, huh? What's the other one? Deploying probe, getting a scan. Oh, records. Yeah. What I do is I pick like a handful of skills that I really like and then pump points into those and then later the passives. That's neat. And a whole bunch of pillaged loot, but sadly, no remnant scan data. I'd like to have some remnant scan data because I'm just a little short from developing a couple of nice pieces of armor. Ah, three more systems back over here. Yeah, I thought about doing a respec, but never really felt the need. Anomaly detected. Right there? Yep. Probes launched. This is one of the chosen data collection nav points. We should release Indeed. A probe. Data collection probe ready for placement. That's three. All right. The console was over there. 
Approximating remnant ship dynamics. Sam? Building predictive model. Between the remnant city Meridian and however the Scourge fits in. Pardon my Martian, but it's all weird as shite. <laughs> Seems busy up here. Uh. You know what we needed? You got us something, all right? The key to it all. In here. The mother of all navigational aids. Take that back to the remnant city. Find an override, and their ships will fly the same vector as Meridian. With correction for the Scourge, you'll have its exact location. Awesome. The heart of the Vault Network. We can do it. And we can make sure that the Cat can't turn the Vault Network against the Angara and our settlements. You know, the Scourge is kind of pretty if it wasn't such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Feels different coming back here now. We're different. We're ready. Sam's marked a potential override for remnant ship control. A tower with its own energy. Nice. Pitch. It may be one of the controls that deployed Meridian. I'm the means to find it again. Well then. Alright, can you explore Helios before or after the main story concludes? So yeah, this is the cutoff point of somewhat no return. So let's save since you can't say since you can't save mid mission, which is my one complaint about this game. It does actually it does remind of Farscape. All right, so sadly I did not get enough research for Black to make a sniper rifle with the legacy recharge. My pistol and sniper rifle do have that. Uh, yeah, I think I remember that episode. Unfortunately, it did not have the nor did have the the points to do the helmet, legs, or chest plates. Drops my shield for twenty five percent, but boosts my health big time. Rupture. Drops my clip size, but boosts head side percent bonus. All power recharge speeds, but drop my damage. I have never, ever fiddled with armor mods. They've never really worked for me. You just lose too much useful stuff in the process. So, yeah. Um, Drop backup life support. Let's do cryo ammo. Squad, let's keep PB because we're dealing with remnant stuff. Let's swap out Jaw for Drac. No, not Drac. Let's do Liam. And here, oh yeah, I am a big ma I'm a big fan of Farscape. Um, Farscape absolutely kind of got me. Help, help get me into Mass Effect. Let's roll. Our biggest yet. You ready? I better not actually say the sentence I was born ready. Uh, because that is so cliche. And if I do say that sentence, Liam had better call me. If I do, if I do exactly say that quote, um, Liam better call me out for it. It's time, and we're due. 
for the initiative. Let's get it done. Tempest, we're going in. Well, yeah, anyone watching this, if you... Okay. Quiet oh, so far. We'll let the dialogue speak. Something's different. Orbital scans identified a separate energy grid within the tower. Meaning? Defenses here may not be on our side. Okay. So. 145 meters to projected override controls. Through the door. Eyes open. If more the fact that the pistol looked like a revolver, I would have named it Winona. Uh. Yeah. So, for people watching along at home, if you've beaten Mass Effect Andromeda or find yourself craving more Mass Effect um, after this game, after we're done with this Let's Play, I recommend checking out Farscape. I forget where it, what site it's streaming on right now. It used to be on Netflix. I think it still is, at least through the Peacekeeper Wars. But check that out. Remnant, and they don't look friendly by design. Ah, uh, didn't work the way I planned. All right, that observer down. Oh, I hate nullifiers so much. On it. They're breaking. Keep it up. There's another one over here. Oh, you flanked me, jerk. wasn't Let's that move. wow there was that fight earlier with like two guardians plus or the, the two defenders plus a whole bunch of the guard of the regular guards door. and like six Controls observers projections suggest multiple launch bays and possible links to uh -huh. deployment ah <laughs> uh, peacekeeper wars yeah it's right there you just need to apply the override and the remnant will show the way it's now, the PC word, it's weird that that's, like, not as consistently available for streaming as the rest of Farscape is. Sam, everything ready? All relevant data is queued for uplink. Right. Let's find Let's a path. Let's do it! I mean, <laughs> finding path is kind of in our job description. Or job title, literally. Remnant ships have lifted off. They're following the override vector. The Scourge is moving. But they're getting through to... Something. There it is. Meridian Pathfinder. What is that? A station? These readings are... Wow. It's hollow? Like your Dyson spheres, but moon-sized. A self-contained seed world. It is the heart of the vault network. And when reactivated, every connected planet will be affected. It is the means to make Helios a home, Pathfinder. This is the day everyone in the Initiative has hoped and worked for. Ever since we left our own stars. Congratulations, Oh, Pathfinder. crap. A great day for us all. All right, you're my brain. What is going on? I believe you are fitting my rival, but you are a false thing, a lie. Once I saw what made you special, your connection, I knew how and when to take it from you. I let you find Meridian, and now I'll use your sand. I do appreciate the 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 objective upgrade. Or one by one, your worlds will die, starting with you. 
All I need to start is an implant like yours. And thanks to your memories, I know who else has one. Another reason to take the Hyperion. Fall to darkness, Pathfinder. You are all. Oh, crap. 